Oh, yeah, boy. What the, what the heck I have right there? Oh, today we're going to be unboxing the HP today. This particular HP doesn't belong, so... This is a treat for you people, so... After I dunk my head back down, we're going to do some unboxing, alright? I'll be right back. Okay, people, as you can see, my head is chopped off. So, what I'm going to do is grab a seat, sit down, and, whoa, I'm at a low level. So, today we are unboxing an HP computer. Not a big fan. But this is a special treat for you people because I had Mabel uh, dropped off a... Uh, for me to uh, set up for a person. So, let's talk about this. This is a slimline HP computer. It's one of those yay big computer windows. Let's say it's similar to Dell Inspiron 5 Sony, should we say. So, as you can tell, I'm the Dell brush. But uh, let's get some unboxing knife going. Uh, let's see here. Anything? So this is the Intel Pentium uh, processor. So apparently this is a G3 7010. Uh, we do have four gig of memory, one terabyte. Uh, does have a lot of the standard feature like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, all that jazz. So um, that's pretty much it. But uh, let's get the unboxing going for you people, as you can tell. Powered by Intel! <laughs> you gotta love those stickers. So, I don't have a, um, who say you need a sharp boxing knife? Who, who does say? Come on, people, you can, you can cut tape. There we go. Look at that, I don't need no, uh, no, sh uh, sharp unboxing knife. Look at that, ten just, just fine, and I'm not damaging the computer at all, too. Look at that, yeah. There we go. Okay. So, what do you get in the box? So, you get the instruction of Plug the power, plug your uh, monitor, plug this, yada yada yada. Uh, if you're new, if you if if this is your first time plugging this uh, a computer, uh, this this instruction will tell you uh, how to do it. It will explain what you need to plug in or all that jazz. Um, all that. Then you get a little warranty guide of. What they don't cover and all that jazz. I don't think I don't need to make a B-roll shot uh, for these particular people. So, yeah, that's a little bit of instruction. Uh, let's see, any useful stuff? Okay, plug in this and that, yada yada yada. Maintain your computer. Okay. Okay, structure of okay. So the nice thing is it does tell you how to vacuum, so you do need to vacuum the HP computer on a monthly basis, so um that's another thing. Does have instruction of cleaning mouse and keyboard, that's okay, that's nice. Uh computer does not store which I kind of find that useful. Troubleshooting, that's, uh, that's... Yada, 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 the other stuff. I'm gonna throw it. I, I, eh, okay. 
Alright, let's move on to what we want to see. Okay. Foam. Uh, let's start with the keyboard. We got our standard keyboard. B wall shot ladle. I'm going to do a B wall. Okay, keyboard. So what do we get? So, okay, so this computer do need a laptop brick to power, so unfortunately the computer doesn't rely on internal power supply, it does rely on a power brick. Alrighty then. Then we have the uh, the bunny or the go to to this end. This plug in right there, so it should be pretty standard when you're used to uh, working with laptop these days. And we get your standard mouse of the trade. So pretty uh, standard stuff. So what I'm going to do is move the box down. Come on out. Come on out. There we go. So, let's talk about the back a little bit. Very basic, very light. Oh, no warranty. So what I'm going to do... Uh, let's see. Let's let's talk about the the fun little bit. So um, we do have a combo headphone jack. So you don't have no step with microphone or headphone. It's all combo. So we got DVD, uh, CD, whatever you typically use. SD to USB 2.0 to add back. Then uh, at the back we get the normal audio jack as you can see so what we have to do is focus on the camera and see here where's my focus button there we go okay there we go so this is the port where you plug in the HP power supply VGA uh, HDMI two USB 3.0 Ethernet, uh, two USB 2.0, line in, uh, mic, uh, uh, sound, and microphone. So that's pretty much it. So, pardon me. Uh, excuse the, excuse that. There we go. There we go. As you can see. So what I'm going to do is readjust the camera a little bit and uh, let's take a look on the inside see what kind of stuff we get because if I, if I look at it real quick there's no warranty stick on it so might as well take a look what do you get inside. Okay people let's open it up and see what's inside. See how it is. Wow, this is pretty, uh, pretty empty, uh, for my taste. Pretty empty. If I zoom in, I mean, look at the board. It's so, it's so tiny. So what I'm going to do is get the camera in focus. As you can see, not a lot of expandability room. That's very little. Take a look at the heat sink. That's pretty tiny. Do have a pretty? Uh, we do. It's using a slim. Uh, it's using a uh, laptop uh, optical drive, definitely. Um, I do have one gripe of this machine, and it's only come with one memory stick. Um, this is going to be an issue for a long term. I would imagine if the person that I'm setting up for. It's going to have issue down the road, 
for a long term, but as you can see, I mean, that's it's not very much. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's very little, as you can see. So, um, yeah, I probably wouldn't know what to all drive right now, but uh, we did. We did take a look on the outside to give you a quick glance look on the inside. See what if you will bind this, what is your expectation level is. I would never recommend it to a customer to use the Camille on the daily base on the heavy workload. I wouldn't recommend it. It's only good for a customer who's only gonna spend on the Camille like for five minutes, basically. Um that very short time period, but um, let's put the cover back on and uh, and uh, let's get back to my face. All right, people. Okay, people. So we took a look on. We took a look on the. We took a look at the HP Slimline. Uh, HP Slim Desktop 260-A010 Now, like I said, this is not the HP Camille I would definitely recommend. I do not recommend these if you're going to work on... If you're going to use your Camille on a every daily base. Every day. So if you're the type of person who needs to use your Camille to uh, uh, do something important uh, I don't recommend buying this <laughs> this is this Camille don't have HB did not design this Camille to do heavy workload and uh, heavy gaming this is more of a Camille that you would uh, PC should we say that you only use for like 15 minutes or how long you ever gonna use it for? <laughs> I mean, it's it's pretty basic. Um, I would imagine this is like a two hundred bucks or three hundred bucks computer. Um, this is not a great long term, so keep in mind. But if you did need it for a short time period or a very time crunch. Um, if you did need to, this is only great for temporary use, uh, not for long term. So if you will, if you need to use this Camille for a little time period, and if you don't use it for a long period time, um, then I would say okay, you could. And if you're a type of person who have good luck with HP, should we say, um, that's depending on too, so overall, um, this is only great for if you have a virtual computer lab, um, something that you're not reliant on the horn well too much, so um, this is mostly for use or that don't have a lot of demanding use and like I said if you have good luck with the HP too you could so I mean yeah I did look at this and even you don't have no expandability with this thing uh, with this particular computer you can't add uh, no desktop uh, graphic card, e even the low power video card, you can't use it. Uh, you can't, you can't change out the processor in this, in this computer. Um, fan, it's using a very tiny fan. It's, I mean, heck, you can't use the aftermarket heatsink. And I think too is. Um, I did point out like the memory stick, only one. Um, I uh, even they have a stick on that you can hook up door display, door monitor, and if you're gonna do this to a computer, give it one more memory stick. If you're gonna advertise that you're going to 
you can make the command do door display. Come on. I mean, <laughs> it's really. I mean, I I did look at this stuff like you. This need to be think about, and I feel like. Uh, and uh, that's sort of thing to point out. The power supply, the internal power supply, would go in this spot. And you know, for an average user, that look at the size like that, a nice compact unit. That's pretty nice. And um, the case can for user. Um, and if the user are tending to, um, especially if you buy like an i7 HP computer too, if if you bought one for more of a uh, heavy duty lift. Uh, a lot of uh, productivity stuff. You, if you were planning to do that, and uh, and HP been doing the thing where they they stuff a tiny little board into a bigger case, and this is I don't recommend these come here anymore. You're better off building. A computer by yourself if you if you type person who do a lot of demanding stuff on your computer if you're using your computer on a daily basis uh, I'm going to say every day every day every hour you spend on from coming home to uh, uh, from the morning you know if um, if this if this is all I'm, all I'm saying is, um, it's hard to recommend they can be all like this. It's very hard. It's it's for people that don't have a lot of use, should we say? But anyway, I I'm not going to spend a lot of time. Obviously, this is not a special computer or any imagination. This is really not. You can almost. You almost can look at end of the clip. I will throw some B-roll shots, some nice panning shot of this, uh, of this computer. End of the video. Throw some music onto it that I did today. So, but you know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> um. So. But anyway, uh, feel free to uh, subscribe or Google Plus me. Um, if you want to be notified of the video I've uploaded or what, it's, uh, feel free to hit the bell notification so you can be notified and follow the Google Plus page because on that Google Plus page I do uh, I do post photos and behind the scene and all that stuff. Uh, on my on my Google Plus page, <coughs> and uh, feel free to give the video a like or a dislike, and uh, check out the video note. Click on Show Me More, uh, chat the email address. You may have to copy and paste. Amazon wish list. That if you want to help out, you're welcome to help out. If you want to use that as a recommendation list for me, that's okay. And uh, some tech to forms I'm part of, or profile I'm part of, uh, feel free to check those out. And uh, feel free to comment if you if you comment won't be shown in the video. So I do it normally. I do it uh, end of the uh, end of video, so like unboxing, uh, vlog, and rant video normally. Um, and. Uh, I, I do those. Uh, if you if you keep the comment clean, I will show them in the video. So, um, and that's only if we get like a few comment. If we get a lot, I, I do a separate video for you people. So, pretty much, I'm gonna walk away and uh, clean up the room a little more, and uh, I won't get busy on that. I gotta put stuff back. So, I will catch you people next time. Uh, see you later. And catch you next time.